A southern migration brought Buffalo and Sooner supporters less than 50 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. With Miami having sealed up the final BCS championship game slot earlier in the day, the Big 12 crown would be the only title either of these teams could claim this year. Ralphie and the Boomer Schooner led the squads on the field, electrifying a sellout crowd on a brisk Houston night. Colorado took the opening kickoff and had the first scoring opportunity, but kicker Pat Bone pushed a 41-yard field goal attempt wide right. Oklahoma capitalized by charging down the field with its opening possession, capping a 13-play, 77-yard drive in just over six and a half minutes, with Nate Hibble finding all-conference tight end Trent Smith in the end zone as the Sooners took a quick 7-0 lead. At the same time, Smith became the first player in Big 12 championship history to catch a touchdown pass in two different title games. He also had one at the 2000 championship in Kansas City. OU's defense held Colorado's next two possessions to just one first down per drive, with both ending up in a punt. Early in the second quarter, Hibble closed a 12-play, 80-yard drive by finding Mark Clayton streaking past the Buff secondary into the end zone. The extra point from Trey DiCarlo was blocked, so the Sooners' lead was 13-0. Colorado had one more key scoring opportunity before the end of the half, but Bone was again wide right on a field goal attempt, this time from 32 yards out. That kept the score 13-0 in OU's favor at the intermission. In the third quarter, Oklahoma began with the ball, but a revived Buffalo's defense held OU to a quick three and out, forcing the fifth punt from Blake Ferguson. Colorado deep man Jeremy Bloom took the ball from his own 20, went left, and found a seam. Colorado's defense again held strong as the Sooners' ensuing drive produced only 10 yards and again were forced to punt. Time to tie the game or take the lead, the Buff broke a big run from Brandon Drum, rumbling 43 yards into Sooner territory, fumbling, but DJ Hackett alertly recovered at the OU 21. When the drive stalled, Brome was again called upon. His third attempt of the day, this from 33, was again pushed to the right. And at yet another break, the Oklahoma offense was right on cue. Quinton Griffin ended the following drive with a 36-yard touchdown scamper and ended the night with 188 yards. That left him just 22 yards shy of Billy Sims' season record of 1,762, established back in 78. A big day for Griffin to conclude a big season as he performed just minutes away from the suburb of Aldean where he grew up. Actually, I was excited, you know, playing in a championship game right down the street from where I stay. Uh, and you can't ask for any much more than that, but uh, it, it's very exciting. After the third missed field goal by Colorado, the Sooners responded with 16 unanswered points. Griffin scored yet again in the fourth quarter, this time from 27 yards out. The Sooners grinded out 402 total yards while holding the Buffaloes under 200. And for the first time in the seven-year championship game history, an offense was held without a touchdown. Complete domination. And defense to, to shut them out uh, defensively, and I guess we held them to under 200 yards. Uh, again, another incredible defensive performance. So, uh, just all together, it was a well-played game. All right, you guys do a great yeah. job. For the first time in Big 12 history, the conference has a two-time football champion. The win also propelled Oklahoma into the BCS, and the Sooners' 36th bowl will be a memorable first. OU will face Washington State on New Year's Day in the Rose Bowl.